Welcome back to another episode of Cricut Design Space Basics. I'm Laura from Laura's Crafty Life. Today I'll show you how to use the flip tool in Cricut Design Space. The flip tool is used to change the orientation of an image on the canvas. You can flip the object horizontally or vertically. Sometimes when you add an object to the canvas, you need the orientation to be different. For example, you might want it to face the opposite direction. For this, you'll use the flip tool. So start by opening a new project in Cricut Design Space. The flip tool is in this edit bar at the top of the screen on desktop. Let's go ahead and add a couple of images to the canvas. To do this, you're gonna click images. And then you, I have a couple saved here, so we're just gonna add some presents and some birthday balloons. If you haven't used Cricut Design Space in a little while, you'll notice now that the images appear on the actual canvas rather than going to a separate page. When you're done choosing your images, you can just click this little arrow and you'll have your full canvas back. So let's say that we want these balloons to be flipped. What you'll do is you'll click on the balloons, you'll click flip and then flip horizontal. So you can see the orientation changed horizontally or left to right. Whenever you use the flip tool, it flips the image from the center, either left and right or top to bottom. So we've got our birthday balloons. Let's add another set of presents, but let's say we want them to be flipped upside down. So you'll click on this bottom set of presents, you'll click flip and then click vertical. So now we have these presents on the top and the bottom and let's add, let's go ahead and add another set of balloons and we'll flip these back. So now we have a nice start for possibly making like a card or a sign for a happy birthday. Last but not least, we can add a happy birthday message to this. So we'll go ahead and shrink this down and kind of fix our design here. You could use this design to create a cute card or a sign or even a cute cake topper. You can see why you would need to flip occasionally your objects. The next thing we're going to talk about is the difference between flip and mirror. Sometimes when you're working with certain materials like iron on, you need to mirror image the design. You'll see this either in the tutorial you're looking at or on the package instructions itself. And the reason you need to flip the design is because you're cutting on the back side of the material. So when you place the weeded out iron on onto say a t-shirt, the words and the design will look just like they did on the canvas because you're printing it on the back so it needs to be flipped horizontally to cut out correctly for your design. So the mirror tool works exactly like flip horizontal on the canvas, except you'll use it on the matte preview page and it will flip your entire design rather than a single object. So for ease of showing you this, I'm going to attach all of this together so it's a solid design. We'll click make. This brings up the matte preview page. So right here you can see it looks just like it did on the canvas. Over here you'll see mirror with a toggle. So if you toggle it on, it flips the design, the entire design horizontally. And you can click this little information button here and it says turn on mirror for iron on projects and materials that are placed face down like leather to help remind you of when to use mirror. And remember when you're using mirror, you have to do it for every single mat. So if you have multiple colors you're cutting out, you want to click mirror for each mat because clicking this only does it for this mat you're on. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Subscribe to my channel for more Cricut Design Space Basics tutorials. Mm -hmm.